Hey everybody, welcome to another commentary. Today we are playing the new champion on PBE, Fuey, which also has been updated with all of the map changes, uh, so things are going to look different. Mid lane looks gigantic now. Um, and yeah, you know, I'll turn on voices because normally I don't have them on, so... Uh, yeah, so this is my first attempt on him. On him, I have tried him inside a practice tool, um, and he feels definitely interesting. Uh, you have to get used to it. Um, there's a lot of changes, including to the items. Mythics no longer exist, so all items are somewhat equal, but they cost different amounts. But thankfully, mage players, you'll be excited, or AP players, they added so many new things that aren't just stats, because so many items now just have an effect on it. Even Shadow Flame, magic damage now crits below 35% dealing 20% increased damage. They added a bunch of these things that are a lot of fun, so I'm happy about the changes. Um, but yeah, this is a Hoi video, so we'll go over it. I'm not going to go over it. Ver There's so many videos out there on him, but the easy way of thinking about this champion is that you use two spell casts. Your Q is damage, your W is utility, your E is crowd control, your ultimate is just your ultimate, um, and you are a mid laner. When you cast your ability, it opens up this, and then you can press R to cancel it uh, if you don't want to cast anything. But when you press your ability, you have three different options. So there's ten abilities total because there's three, 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 one um, with the stuff. And what you want to do is, like, for instance, I'll just do a Q. So that was Q, Q. QQ is like a karma Q in a way. It's very just a projectile that hits first person, deals some bonus damage. Um, your QW, we're going to go over the damage first, is like a Zareth W, deals bonus damage when they're lower. Your QE is uh, kind of like a Velikaz W, except for that it lasts and it does damage. It's, uh, it creates a little rift. Your W abilities are the utility ones. Your uh, WQ is a tornado. It doesn't do any damage, but it leaves back a trail on the ground in a line that gives you movement speed. So it's kind of like old Galio E if you ever played League for a while. Um, right here, I think I'm going to use the Rift, maybe. Let's just see how if it does anything. Like, she's standing in it for a little bit. And uh, your passive is to deal bonus damage beneath the target that slowly explodes if you land two consecutive abilities. So, like, if I do EQ, maybe QQ. Oh, I missed it, though. I'm going to uh, do the mana generation one, I guess. So, yeah, I'm trying to, like, at least give you a little bit of knowledge on it. So, yeah, we'll go back to the W abilities. The W, so the WQ is that tornado that I was talking about. We haven't used it yet. Your WW is a shield that you can put down, and when you're standing in it, you get the shield. Um, and then your WE gives you, like, a Nami E for bonus damage and restores mana on hit. If you hit two things, auto attacks or abilities, you get back the mana cost. If you hit three abilities, then you get back more mana. So it does give you mana if you, uh, like, for instance, if I use it right now, if I just auto attack three times... I actually gained mana from using the ability there, but as you can see, the cooldown's kind of long, though. And then your E is basically all crowd control abilities. So, rather than utility, CC. It's a little bit different. Your EQ is a skill shot that uh, fears the first person hit. Your EW is... Uh, oh trying to remember what it is it's like a swain w which puts down a little orb on the ground and people nearby get snared i'll use it right there so somebody needs to step on it if nobody steps on it, it doesn't do anything i did manage to hit her with the ability probably wasn't worth doing though Once I finally can, like, focus on playing the game. Okay, let's use my Rift on the mid wave. See how that shoves out. And we can do probably EQ. Oh, wow. That almost killed her. Wow, that was really close. I actually could have maybe went for, like, a flash auto Q or something. What I did there with the combo was uh, with your W ability... 
The only one that's, in my opinion, somewhat useful uh, for, like, damage is the Nami's ability. I just accidentally used that. God dang it. <laughs> I used... That was the uh, speed up thing. Whoopsies. Anyways, the last thing is your ultimate. You throw it out at somebody, and it hits them, and then it slows them while dealing damage, and at the end it explodes. Almost like a ranged Nunu ult. So, that's what that one does. Dang, it costs more money now for uh, Lost Chapter. It doesn't cost 1.1k. It costs 1.2. What is that? That's a new item, too. Blowing Moat Ability Haste. So, yeah, there's a lot of different uh, items now. I'm going to go for a Lost Chapter item, because I feel like that's probably still the best thing to do. Otherwise, you'll run out of mana. But we can either go... I mean, you can build all of them. It's not like we choose a Mythic item anymore. Now, you can choose a lot of different things. Okay, I'm going to do WQ for the movement speed. And I think my Q recasted somehow. I wonder if I double tapped it or if this champion will truly show if your keyboard is broken. Just hit her with that. How far is EW range? Put EW down. QQ. Auto attack. Use ult. One auto should do it. Uh, I should have done EW there rather than... Or I should have done QW, which is the lightning bolt. I'll show it. It's this. This, that, I, that ability executes. So when people are lower, it deals bonus damage. Also, it is significantly longer range. Okay, let's try shoving this out. We're level 7. I press E. QE here for the rift. How, how well does it shove out? It doesn't shove out, really? Okay, we'll do it again. Do I get the cannon? I don't get the cannon. Oh, well. We're still learning. We're still learning. I think I have my uh, lost chapter now, right? Um, so our two options that I'm going to be going for, because I don't think I'm going to be going both, is one of them increases our ability haste on our ultimate. Um, and when you use your ultimate, it causes a toxic field beneath them to burn. And that's pretty damn good. It also reduces their magic resist, deals damage. And we have our thing slows and it slows over time. So they might be stuck in it and it might deal a huge amount of damage. This is kind of like Ludens now. You gain shots... Uh, every three seconds, and then when you uh, use your ability, it expends them for bonus damage. So it's just kind of like a Ludens. It's the most simple way of understanding it. Um. Oh, I messed that up. Dang. The enemy team has slain the Void Grubs. Yeah, there's like new uh monsters so the void grubs what they do is when your team slays them you get bonus damage to towers so yeah okay let's shield myself maybe and then i keep on using my titanic rift because it goes through minions but maybe i shouldn't be doing that what if i went for like ew I'm going to do QQ. If I land my ultimate here, I think she might die. Oh, that was so close. You can miss your ultimate. It was worth a shot, though. I swear to God, if I landed that, she would have died. Going to use it on the wave again. So that was the Lightning Bolt. That's the Execute. I don't know how much damage it's going to deal, but we tried. Ooh. Ooh, slowed her down for Yi at least. The range is so far on this. I can even show it, I think. So this is the range. Yeah, it's super long. You can see that the cooldowns of your abilities uh, are also kind of long on your, uh, not your Q. Your Q's kind of nice. It's six seconds when you max rank it. Or is it five? Maybe it's because I have CDR. I think it's it's six seconds, but because of the CDR, it's changing it. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go for the bonus damage on my ultimate. I just feel like that sounds very powerful. And your ultimate AP ratio is pretty good. You can see that the maximum damage is 350. That's a pretty damn good thing for uh, an ult that's AoE. The AP ratios on his abilities don't really look that insane, really. Like, even his QQ, which does max percent HP, doesn't seem that good. Dang, I really missed that. Bummer. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I, I can try EE. -E. Oh, nice dodge, dude. You might be able to kill me here. No, maybe not. I just barely survive. Oh! Oh my god, I actually live. I got her with the lightning bolt. Dude, dude, the lightning bolt feels really, really strong. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I got her, but I messed that up because if I didn't miss my... That's support Camille, right? I think it is. Oh no, I have these swapped wrong. Anyways, that was top lane. She got me because I used my ultimate, and she used her ultimate, and I missed it. So I shouldn't have, like, given her range. The thing is that because it's, like, one of the first games that I've played of him, I have to get used to feeling of the what I'm supposed to be pressing. And I'm, like, I have to think about it rather than just press it, and that's making it harder for me. The colors come flooding back. I should be using a... Uh, wait, what? Oh no, I did use it, okay. I used my WQ for the movement speed. Uh, it doesn't matter which direction you go, by the way, in that. Just remember that it's not like you only run fast in one direction. When you're just standing in it, you move fast. Have I used EW? Yeah, EW is the snare, actually. The QQ is pretty short range. Wow, that is a very... Oh, wait. I pressed the wrong thing. That's why. Put the lightning bolt on the ground. I'll get ulti by her, but it's chill. He wants to do the void thingies. Let's see how fast we can shove this out when I put the little orbs around me to deal bonus damage. Does that help? Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, we one-shot him now at least, I guess. I don't know. Can I get this? How much bonus damage does my thing do as well? Deals 20% bonus damage on abilities. Do I kill the wave again? Wait, I don't. One breath and brush at a time. I wonder if I can kill her in a single combo. If I do like W E R Q, I think I should do. I should do like E. She seems pretty scared. Maybe I can't even get to her. She's playing pretty far away. I want to uh, go for the snare hit into giving myself the bonus damage into ultimate into lightning bolt. Because she's kind of chunked and I feel like it would deal enough. I'm also level 2 ultimate, so it's going to deal significantly more. It deals like 500 now, so. I guess I'll give myself uh, the mana back real fast. Oh, you got me. Am I okay? Oh my god, dude. The burst damage is insane. Okay, so there's something that... I mean, my first impressions of the champion... Delayed CC is ridiculously strong in League. And I hate playing against it. And he has delayed CC. 
Uh, Zoe Bubble is a good example. LeBlanc Chain is a good example. Do I want the bonus damage? Landry's deals bonus damage. They're pretty squishy comps, so I guess we'll go for Shadow Flame. So this will make it so we crit. It also gives more AP now. Landry's gives HP. There's Haunting Guys in the game. This makes it so you get Magic Pen. It's like a Void Staff alternative where it doesn't give you as much, but you get Ability Haste, and when you kill somebody, the people around the person that you kill get healed. It's kind of an interesting thing. I just think that they made a bunch of items that have, like, special effects, and they're not just stat sticks anymore, and I like that. I think that's a great addition. I just tried to fear her there. That's what I threw at her. Hmm. Okay. Well played. Am I gonna walk into her? No. Does she know? I think she does. I accidentally used my ability rather than cancel it with my R. Whoops. WQ moving speed. I am double tapping my Q. Oh my god, dude. You can't double tap. EQ. That's a fear. Rift. I'm just going to use my ultimate here. And then I can pop my lightning bolt on top of her too. So she just dies. The lightning bolt is so crazy. <laughs> Oh, dude, if I hit that, I feel like you might die. You might pop. No, I didn't want to know how much damage it does, dude. Come on. I'm just trying to test at this point because I don't know how much it deals. So right there, I feared her with the uh, point and click, and then I can go for the Q afterwards. The fear seems like it's the most reliable thing. I feel like the... Uh, the thing that you put on the ground, this, takes kind of long to cast. That was the EW that you put. Thankfully, there are certain things that I feel like they did this on purpose. Swain W is what it's similar to, and it's on your W key, right? It's E and then W. E, E, you could think of as like a Mordekaiser E. Because it pulls everybody into the center. Once again, it's on E. And then a Q is like Fiddle Six Fear, but a skill shot. Once again, it's on Q. So like, you can kind of, uh, if you've played like a lot of League and you understand those champions, you can kind of just think of it in that terms. Like Karma Q is on Q. Zareth uh, W is on W, and I don't really have an example for the Fissure. That's just the Fissure. But it does make it way easier because I just played a lot of League. If you haven't played those champions, unfortunately, it's probably going to be way more difficult to uh, understand it. Jeez, dude. Is my damage insane or what? EW, QE, Q. Okay, how does the EW work again? Because the I didn't do shit. EQ, QQ. Dang, dude. Once I'm getting, like, uh, somebody's on top of me, it's so hard for me to make the, the decisions. Right there, I did WW for the shield, because I feel like that's honestly the only thing that I can do in that situation. I don't need the bonus damage for sure. And then I tried putting, uh, I have no AOE fear, huh? I could have tried the Jaws, I guess. If I used, uh, not QQ, but QE to put down the Fissure, I could walk through my own Fissure that I put on the ground, and then they have to walk through that. Uh, this Touch of the Void is the, from the Mites that the people killed, so we get the bonus stamp. Oh, there's Baron. 
like not when sure. baron spawns then it depends baron has three different types of terrain thing and also they're gonna corrupt the blue buff or red buff or scuttle crab and it looks like scuttle crab hasn't been corrupted yet so now when your teammate does them the whole entire team gets it and i don't even know if you need to be near them to get it or not i have no idea God, this wall is so thick now. Anybody know how the fist bump works? Yeah, I don't know. My EW range is kind of far, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to drop pink ward here. Others fall to pieces. I, I feel like you should always be using the fissure to wave clear. I feel like doing QQ doesn't make any sense. And like if I need to kill those, it's fine, but otherwise. I also feel like the fissure does the most damage, probably. I don't know if I can kill this Camille. I might walk into people bot side because our whole team's top side, so. WQ for the movement speed. UW? She's not in there. I feel like I can beat her if I land my combo without getting hit by her thing. So I guess we'll see if she uses it. Mm, she does have Merc Treads though. Oh wait. This is different now? Yo, it's on activation. Right. Wait, Ravenous Hydra is back. It's on activation. I feel like people are sitting in there, so that's why I'm using that. I'm scared that they're just waiting. I'll just use my ultimate here. I think that's all I can do, though. Dude, I... The thing is that as soon as I mess up my combo once, it's completely screwed. Because I somehow must have, like... I tried pressing QQ, and I think it went off, but then it showed another ability pop up, and I don't know what ability it was using. So I instantly would have to press R to fix myself. That's so tragic. I have to make decisions, like, really quickly if I ever mess anything up. Because if I mess it up, then it's so bad. Cosmic Drive. Damaging an enemy with ability grants movement speed for two seconds. Just straight up. Just move speed. Oh, cool. Uh, Zhonya's is always pretty good versus a comp like theirs, I guess. Wow, gives 120 AP. Also, you there is no stopwatch anymore. Now it builds out of this. I can build that, though. So this is a stopwatch. The Seekers, it costs way more. Yeah, stopwatch is gone. But everything gives way more AP. I feel like every item gives a huge amount of AP. Uh, Banshees gives 120? Didn't it give 60? My god, dude. Critical damage modifiers only affect Cinderbloom's bonus damage. I feel like we're pretty short range. I feel like we're gonna really function well if I can land my ultimate. Otherwise, it's actually pretty difficult to, uh, like, get on top of people. He almost died. If I landed that, she'd be dead. One big issue is that nobody has a way to really handle this. Camille. Oh wait, you hit her under tower? Dude, 
Dude, she's worth 1k. Is there a way that we can catch her? No. She has vision. Just kidding. Let's go. I'm worried about walking these brushes as well. Storm Surge. It's another penetration item. And if you deal burst damage, it like causes a lightning bolt. Dude, that's actually sick. That does so much damage. I feel like I can use that. Wait, everything crits? Like, including my auto attacks? Can we do Baron? Holy shit, is gigantic. It has multiple arms. W E Q E E W. Just trying to push her away from me. I guess you could put E W on top of yourself, the like Swain thing. So like, if Camille jumped on me, then uh, she would have to. No. Oh my god, how do we handle this situation? Oh yeah, I got blue buff because of the void thing. Sick. I don't deal damage to this guy, brother. But who knows, maybe we can still fight. Oh, never mind, I already missed. We got her slowed at least. I have fear available. No, it doesn't land. Okay, at least I don't die though. Use the lightning bolt as a finisher. Good job, everybody. Had to all work together to take her down. We don't really have that much magic pen, I believe. We have flat pen, which is great, but we don't have um, percent pen. We can build percent pen, though. Let's probably just go avoid staff. Yeah, I am, am double tapping my abilities. Dang, man. Wait, what are those on the ground that fall down? Oh, tennis stuff. Dang, I really didn't get the cannon. Oof. My ultimate damage is insane. So does this also hit minions? No, it doesn't. So I can use it in a way to like try to get Camille if I put on top of myself, even if I'm in a minion wave. The first champion gets rooted. I have my void. I should probably go by. It's actually so important for me to not miss my ult because of the item that I have. Because it only has a special effect if I land it. Creativity is what does Spear of Sojin do? Ability haste, your spells stack up to three. Your spells deal increased damage. 9% increased damage. Well, that's pretty nice for Camille. Alright. I don't know if they're on Baron, but I don't know if we can even contest it. Hey, didn't fear her. Or snare her, I should say. I didn't do anything. I put down the thing on the ground. Maybe it expired before it went to her because it didn't root. Unless her ultimate just got rid of the root potentially, which could have been a thing. 
Maybe there's no way that for it to stop dashes. That's what I was hoping for. I was trying to make it so the dash would stop, so I'd be okay. Because I did put it against the wall. Thankfully, I think I respawn, and I might be able to still salvage this. Maybe. I mean, I also have my ultimate up. My ultimate cooldown's surprisingly short. Okay, use the movement speed. Are they gonna go do Baron? Malice isn't gonna rotate to it, so I'm probably gonna have to face check and just immediately die, huh? Ah, oh, yikes. Yeah, it's already gone. We don't really have a front line. That's what makes the game really difficult. No way to go in. I'm getting used to canceling my ult. Or using my ultimate to cancel the abilities that I'm accidentally casting. It's kind of a big deal. He's dead. Mm. Let's get the moving speed out, maybe. If they continue chasing, maybe I can turn. I'm just glad that Camille died. Takes forever to use that ability. I should use my fear or just my E more often when Syndra steps up like that though. I might be able to see how much more range I have on this ability. for Azania's. I mean, I haven't used it yet, so maybe it'd be better to just go like a death cap or something. Maybe. Ultimate does so much. The burn also does a ridiculous amount. Nice, nice, dude. Give moving speed at least. I have Sonya's. She's already died. I should have never thrown that. I have no idea where she went. Your uh, lightning bolt is deceptively hard to land. Wait, she's wait. I just hit her. By the way, I didn't kill her though. I did give a uh, get a dark harvest stack though. I think she just ends. Maybe? Oh no, Master G maybe kills? Does no damage! My work 
I should have done a uh, W E. So well, I messed that up. I could have played it better. At least we got the dragon as well. The cannon? No, really? Dang. No, I missed the cannon again. Getting cannons is so hard. Do I want to finish this item? Yeah, I probably do. Okay, well. Yeah, I mean, I used my stopwatch. I guess I was not looking that it was broken. It just looked like it was the same thing. When you do use the broken... Uh, oh my god, I just clicked on my Zanyas. When you use the arm guard, it does shatter and you can't do it. Feel so short range. How much of a shield do I get? 440? And that's double W. I'm gonna die. No. Can Seraphine save this? Or is it over? Oh, it's open Nexus too. Dang. I feel like if I played that a little bit better, maybe we could have done something there. But oh well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me uh, first timing this champion. Really sucks when you're trying to uh, activate an ability and you accidentally press like a double cast because you're used to like just getting ability off asap so there's way less room for error otherwise you mess up your cast so badly but that was my first attempt so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next commentary bye in me. hey everybody welcome to the next commentary today we are playing way on the pbe he just came out uh and all of the things came out were like um the map is different and items are different, so lots of changes, but we're trying to do a Huey video. Uh, to go over his stuff in the simplest terms, um, he has nine basic abilities because each ability, when you cast it, uh, has a Q, W, or E. Your R cancels the ability, so I can press Q, R, and I cancel it. So Q has three abilities, W has three abilities, E has three abilities. Your R is just your R. Your Q is damage, your W is utility, your E is crowd control. So how it works is that thankfully there's similar abilities that I'll be comparing it to to make it more easy to understand if you've played those champions before or maybe seen those champions. But QQ is a Karma Q. Thankfully it's on your Q so it makes it easy. QW is like a Xerath W, deals an execute, also pretty nice. It deals bonus damage versus people who are also immobilized. Your E is a Fissure. I don't really have a good example for this besides like maybe like a Braum ultimate. Except for it doesn't knock up, it just leaves something behind. And it's the best thing to also use to uh, like push out waves. So that's what it looks like. And then it puts your ability on cooldown. Uh, your W is WQ is like a pool on the ground in a straight line that gives movement speed. That's all it does. It, it shoots out a little like thing. And then uh, you can use it that way. Oh, I tried hitting her with Q there, but I missed. Oh, good. I didn't get hit by her, though. You can see that the map is quite different as well. My mana cost on my Q is 100. Uh, your WW is a shield. Uh, 
Just one auto, please. Okay. I almost was able to actually uh, get her there if I just played that correctly. The thing is, I'm in the beginning stages of still learning the champion, so a lot of times I'm actively thinking about what I'm pressing, which sucks. You don't want to be thinking while playing. You just want to do it. Uh, your WE is like Nami getting bonus uh, damage on abilities, but it doesn't slow, and it gives you back mana. And if you hit two things, it gives you back the mana cost that you spent. And if you use three abilities, then you get back more mana than it costed. So... I'll just continue using that to get back mana, I guess. There's no reason not to do, be using it. So my E is CC, my EQ is a fiddle six fear skill shot, first person hit. My EW is like a Swain W, but it roots. Nice dude, well played. So this is the shield. That was double W. I used my fear on her after uh, he landed that, so thank you, Amumu, for assisting me. I'm going to put down the rift. Maybe we can shove this out. I just activated my E on accident. I don't even need to activate it. We're going to be maxing Q first. Can I even help my teammate? I feared? No, just run. No, I tried helping you, dude. I mean, I did help him, actually. He maybe could have gotten out, but... He just needed to not turn around. Uh, when you land two consecutive abilities, when you land an ability, it puts that little yellow ring beneath them. If you land another ability, it detonates that and causes like a karma explosion on the ground. So I'm going to double W here for the shield. Feared, except for that I... Oh! One auto attack would have done it. Uh, I mean, I was really low, though. The Xerath ultimate, or the Xerath W, I should say, like, execute ability is... Oh, is, is she dead? It's really long range. Oh, nice. As you can see. So, you can use it to cut people off who are super low, and it will kill them, since it deals bonus damage when they're uh, chunked. I think my wave is screwed, and I don't even think I can fix it. Lost Chapter uh, also cost more. There's so many different items. The item changes, in my opinion, are a huge net positive. A lot of the changes um, are changes that they made items have more effects rather than just being a stat stick. For instance, Shadow Flame, now it still has its stats, has magic and tree damage crit strikes below 35% HP. We have like this thing that charges up shots and then you expend them when you use your abilities. We have this which causes a field beneath your ultimate. So there's a lot more just not like stat stuff, but cool abilities that will be interesting to work around and think of ideas, so. What? I missed my ult? No, I casted my ultimate. Your ultimate is like a slowing Nunu ultimate, and then at the end it explodes. It clearly does not do as much as a Nunu ultimate damage wise, but it's a pretty good example though, because you land on somebody and then they get slowed more and more and more, and then it finally explodes and everybody in the area also gets slowed and then it explodes. Uh, during the slow, you also take damage, but. Uh, one thing, because I already have played a game of him, is that I realized that your range kind of sucks. And during the later stages, it feels really awkward because you're trying to get in range of people, but you can't. Okay, I hit her with an ability. Hit her with that. She can go for me. Dang, man, I was hoping she would, like, commit a little bit harder than that, but I guess she did basically use every single ability there. WE. So I keep on using WE because it gives me the mana back. There's really no reason not to use it since I get back so much. Your cooldowns are pretty long, though, as you can see, too. 
I use the fear most often because I feel like it's the easiest to land. But I guess you can also use like this. So if she steps on that, it uh, causes a root. The root lasts longer than the fear, so. No, nah, the root doesn't. Oh, it did root. Oh, wow, it actually got to her. I didn't think that it would. Sick. If I auto attacked her there, I wonder if I could get killed. Probably not, right? I have no idea where she is, but I just tried shooting out the lightning bolt since it has that, like, extreme range. Alright, we have that shoved out. Uh, let me try to order these, because I don't like it when it's not ordered. There. Okay, so I buy that. Uh, I'm gonna go for the caster's companion. Because the game that I tried previously, I tried out the bonus damage on the ultimate. And I realized that if you ever mess up your ult, it's useless, so... I, I think I want the bonus damage instead. I think I'll like that more. Life has to be valued. No seconds wasted. I guess it could have, I guess, uh, used... Oh my god, am I going to miss a cannon? Dang. I could be using the uh, speed up more often when I'm running back to lane. Oh, wow, that actually landed? I didn't think that it would. There's Warwick, he's level 6. So WQ is the movement speed. So this is the movement speed thing. Dang, I don't think I can get to anybody, can I? I'm gonna shield my teammate. What? That was so close. I was trying to land it because uh, you get slowed down over time. So I was hoping that if I landed it, then I could land my uh, QW lightning bolt to finish. So that's why I shot at her. You can see that the range is decently long, so. I figured it was worth a shot. Uh, besides that, we also have our E, uh, E, which is like a Mordekaiser pull, kind of, but it pulls him into the center of the ability. It's kind of hard to use that one, I've noticed. But it's like an AoE CC, I guess. So if you're being chased by multiple people, it's probably best. Those are the new things. Nice kill. Mm, I missed that, really. Oof. Got her. The range on your Xerath W is just so crazy. It's so long. It's really nice as a finisher. Like, this is the range of it. It's almost, it's like a Kog'Maw R, I guess, is a better example because it executes. It's really like a Kog'Maw R. There's the, I hit two abilities on her, so it caused that, like, uh, detonation underneath her. Dude, really? I, my Q mana cost is so high. It's so high. What is that thing that she has? What is that? She, oh, it's a new item.
monsters. I'm trying to bait her in so I can press my ultimate on her and then zap her, but she's playing so far back, which is fine. I mean, that's how she should be playing. Ooh, that was really close to killing me. I want to stick around until one of us dies. Oh. I was hoping Warwick could jump on her and then I would fear- oh. Man. I missed my ultimate again! The first game it was so easy to land it, I, I've never had this issue. Oh, I tried to shield you, but... Boom! I put down the eye because my uh, Sona got feared, so... Or, so, slept, sorry. <clears throat> because she got slept, I figured Zoe might go in for the kill. So I put down the eye on the ground, so when she steps on it, she roots herself. So then I can line it up for the uh, execute lightning bolt. Oh my god. What would be the best Q ability to use in that situation? I feel like the slow field of the Molten Fissure is underrated and I should be using it more when I'm jumped on rather than QQ. I didn't even do QQ, but I did Q I did WW for the shield on the ground because there's no way the movement speed is useful. The shielding is good. I'm, I accidentally used my fear in the very beginning of the fight though, which is why that went so poorly. I might have been able to save myself if I did something different. So let's use the uh, movement speed on the way back. Zoe also has it. So what this does is that we get charge shot every three seconds, then it charges up to a certain amount, and then when we use the ability, it detonates it. Kind of like a Ludens, except for on a much lower cooldown, because it's a three second cooldown. I'm gonna shield myself. Dude, these minions in the way is so frustrating. We don't have that many uh, abilities that like go through minions besides the uh, rift, so. Sorry, man, I don't got anything there for me to use to help. Every mark should have meaning. Oh my god, I used lightning bolt on accident when I was trying to use something else. No. If I land my ultimate on her, I think I could maybe combo her. Maybe I should be uh, chain CCing after I land my fear. Well, I did honestly do exactly what I wanted to, but I still took a lot of damage. I didn't even get slept too. Dang. I think I got double ignited, which was the issue. So what I did is I feared into ultimate to slow her down into WE to give myself the bonus damage of my next three abilities and then I used QW. But I did kind of walk into melee range, so that was probably the biggest issue. Uh, I'm going to build a Banshees this game maybe. Banshees, um, now a big amount of items now give way more AP, like a huge amount of AP. If you have not noticed. That costs way more. This grants a spell shield now. This no longer gives magic resist? Wow. That's insane. 
cost way more though. Koyan is so far from an island of sand, blotted ash. WQ, EQ. Oh, I was gonna get it with the lightning bolt, but well played, Varus. He has an item too. That is completely new. Uh, Zoe went top. Sorry, Kale. You're probably dead. Can I use this on tower? Oh my god, I can! Huge! We're getting true damage on tower because those new monsters that spawn, when you take them, they give you the touch of the void, which makes you deal bonus damage to towers. Wow. It, for some reason, I was like seeing it like a Senna ability and I messed that up really bad. Probably dead here, right? Oh, I'm not. Holy shit. You're dead, though. I appreciate you saving me, though. You definitely saved my life. Oh my god. I think I might have hit somebody because I got. She was trying to get me. I keep on missing my W, uh, the QW for the Lightning Bolt, but it's really hard to land that ability I learned. Like, really difficult if uh, you don't CC them. It's more of a combo ability than anything else. Infinity Edge is the same. Storm Razor is kind of the same. Kalia Shadow Flame for the execute damage on her abilities. Nashers gives less uh, AP now. Strange. Everything feels like it gives more AP, but Nashers, huh? That was really close landing that fear. God, dude, he won't die. The Janna healing is so crazy. I also messed up my combo because I tried to do EQ to fear him, but then I did QQ. When I was trying to do EQ, probably Q QW, I guess, would be best. Or I could do the vent too, I don't know. I definitely messed up the combo though. Golden ratio, kill Jin with your ultimate ability, Spiraling Despair. There's more quests, secondary quests that like, like Rengar versus Kha'Zix, like that kind of thing. They added more of them. And Jin and my champion are related in terms of like lore. Not, okay, they're not related, but they are connected in lore somehow. So I guess, uh, kill him with my spiraling despair. And it might give me something permanent, but it's normally like a super tiny thing that barely affects the game. There's an Akali. Can you? Oh, you didn't look. That's unfortunate. She's probably gone. Her whole entire team got red. A little bit of an early smite by Mumu.
gone. I sped everybody up, so maybe we can have an easier time at chasing. Uh, it's not gonna work, really. Wow, this wall is so thick. Big damage going off, but not gonna be nearly enough. No, dude, it's so difficult to find angles. Oh, nice. At least I finished my Banshees, though. Holy crap, dude. They deal so much damage. What could I have done differently? I used double W. Maybe I should be using my E differently. I mean, I did go pretty deep. My ultimate takes way longer. I keep on thinking of it as like a Senna thing where it like snares them pretty quickly. It doesn't even snare. It doesn't do any CC, actually. Believe it or not. I didn't even get that. They're doing the dragon right now. I don't know if we can probably contest it. It's probably too difficult. I still have my ult. It's so hard to find angles. base what do i want to buy let's look at their stuff some things i don't know what it is i don't think anybody has magic resist i might just want to go with death cap because it might give the most ap out of anything else like uh just for damage wise there's also things like shadow flame that i could go but there's a side of me i need to understand Baron spawned. When Baron spawns, there's three different pits, and this is one of the OG pits, I guess. Dude, if I land that fear, it could be gigantic. No. I could have landed it. It could have been so huge. Oh, well. There's no reason to use the execute, remember? Because we already, uh... That guy wasn't even low. 
I just did a QQ there for the damage. And it was a fear into my ultimate just to like slow him down for my team. Warwick's really strong. Warwick is sniffing. Is he gonna go for me though? Wow, your Q base damage is only 200. Oh, I guess it does percent damage too. That's probably why. Twenty percent each. I wonder when you would use the Swain's ability. I guess you could use it in like a choke if you're being oh no, I mean we just use his ult on accident. I'm really glad that I have the Banshees versus Zoe. Oh yeah, they changed the brush into the center because you used to be able to like, it was OP on one side, so they're trying to make it even. Dragon's coming up. Every mark should have meaning. Uh, we should probably just ult here just to kill her. Can they do Baron? And they're on it right now. I just used the wrong ability. I'm just dead. Man, my self peel is so hard to play around, but it's also because I used the wrong ability. I used my fear. I shouldn't have used it. I could have put the snare down when I was being chased. I guess I could have never ultied the Akali. Obviously, having my ultimate for Baron would be sick, but... Immobilized targets take 500 damage. The 500 damage... Increased damage. 75% AP ratio. Seems bad. 75% AP ratio is not very good. Relive the pain. Relieve. Just poker. She got kind of clapped a little bit. We just got blue buff because uh, the uh, when Baron spawns, it like causes blue and red buff to become corrupted i think all the time or maybe just sometimes and it gives it to everybody on the map when it, that happens one breath and brush at a time my combo versus her was just the fear into ultimate and then i used the lightning bolt as a finisher and then my next ability came back up man i'm so close to my item i should probably just uh 
Let's do the grasp, I guess, this time. QQ. That's done. All right, death cap is finished. My EP should go up pretty significantly too, because it feels like there's just more EP in the game on some items at least. Banshees has more EP than my damn item that. <laughs> Banshees has more EP than the item that I build for damage. It has 120 versus 90. Oh, 140? Is that more than usual? I'm pretty sure this did not give that much in the past. Good job of chasing, but I don't really got much follow up. I don't want to keep my mold to for that. Oh, that Jin's dead. She tried to use her ultimate to get behind me, so I just kind of wait. Do you not like the storm surge? Haven't tried. Dude, I mean, I've only played like two games. It also doesn't show up in my thing, so I don't even know what all the items do. Storm surge is one that is magic pen and movement speed. And then when you do somebody's HP a certain amount, It causes like a detonation effect. It's kind of cool. I haven't really tried it enough though to know if it's good or not. So dealing 35% of a champion's max HP within 2.5 seconds, so you have to do it pretty quickly. This is an item definitely for Zoe. Grants movement speed and then after two seconds, deal 500 damage. If the target dies, it's detonates, damaging enemy champions around them and grants you gold. I don't feel like I really deal that much uh, damage quickly, though. I really feel like I don't. Everybody's so damn squishy. I feel like I should just go Shadow Flame. So that's, like, really good for burst champions, and I feel like I'm more of a combo-oriented and, like, waiting for CDs champion. I mean, I could deal burst versus some people, but in a lot of cases... It's not going to work that way. I choose kindness. Nice. Oh. I almost lost my Banshees. Nice job. She's dead. I had Banshees, so it makes it so much easier to play the game when I uh, am against mages, so there's not really much that she could do. Let's just put down our detonation field, and then I accidentally press something. Oh, I got blue buff. Thank you, team. I should be using the Rift, right? Oh, I'm 
I'm so close to my item, actually. Why does it show that blue buff is there, even though it just gave me blue? Another blue? Dang, a Kali built Magic Resist. I was hoping to not build N because everybody was so squishy on their team. Wait, I still didn't get it that I wanted it. Oh, whatever. If Akali comes and fights me, then I guess I'll just have to learn how to fight versus her. Okay, cool. She didn't rotate for me. Got my item. God, I don't even have a scaling. There's more AP in the game. They definitely have increased the AP value. But, I mean, there's always a chance that they decide to, like, tone it back. But holy shit. To have almost 900 AP with no Infernal Dragons, no scaling runes... I have no Gathering Storm, no Absolute Focus. That's crazy amounts of AP. Dang, dude, I need to be faster with that. Oh, wait. Never mind. He just dead. Well, farewell, everybody. GG. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the Huey gameplay of me playing the new guy. He is definitely a champion that is pretty damn complicated because if you screw up one ability, everything gets ruined. Wow, she got kind of melted. So yeah, thanks for watching once again, boys. We'll see how much damage I did, but I feel like it's probably not that much. I feel like there was definitely fights where I could have probably done more. Your ultimate is... Kind of nuts. Did second most, third most. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.